My name is Kat. Hi, Kat. But everybody on the internet calls me trash. Hi, trash. And I'm here because I'm addicted to the internet. Yep, that's me. Or, well, that's me if I wasn't happy with how I am. It's true that I seem to have a problem with the internet. All of the adults around me always tell me that terrible things will happen to me one day because I'm on the internet so much. But I take safety precautions that many other teens don't. One of the first things that's always brought up to me when I say that I'm happy on the internet is all of the studies that show how depressed teens are on social media. Well, that's more because they surround themselves with friends who only want to admit the good in their life, and they think that they're alone in having bad thoughts and actions. While it is true that many of the popular social medias are like this, I personally hang out on a website called Tumblr. It is no more vulgar than any other social media can be, but we aren't afraid to tell each other about the good, bad, and weird experiences that happen to us. We on Tumblr tend to support and care for each other, even if we don't actually know each other in the real world. We make usernames that span all of our accounts so we know each other even on other social medias. Many of you will say, but that's dangerous. Then the people who aren't friendly can follow all of your social medias as well. Yes, that's true, but if you use a username that is not your actual name and you don't post anything personal, then what good will it do them? The other upside of all of your accounts under one name is that you can join a fandom. A fandom is a group of people that are fans of a certain subject. Fandoms tend to watch out for their own. We try and protect each other from meaner people on the internet. The people in a fandom often have a similar interest that makes it very easy to find friends. In fact, many fandoms consider other fandoms friend and will go out of their way to protect the people in that fandom as well. And Justin Bieber challenged the Supernatural fandom and ended up with the Sherlock and Doctor Who fandom uniting to protect Supernatural. While all of this is well and good, the main thing is that you protect yourself on the internet. You can do this by not telling anybody on the internet your real life information. By just taking a few steps to make sure you don't give out your personal information, the internet turns into a wonderful tool. You have the whole world of information at your fingertips. There are millions of people to interact, talk, and make friends with. And with the job market changing, it's best to get a good idea of how to use the internet now instead of later.